One of the first questions that the Gallup poll asked Americans way back in the 1930s was about the death penalty. At that point, back in 1936, the data showed that 59% of Americans favored the death penalty for a person convicted of murder. Now, we've asked that question off and on over the decades since. That's been almost 75 years and just recently updated it again in our October crime poll. And what did we find? Well, the percentage is actually higher now than it was in those Depression-era years. 64% of Americans say that they favored the death penalty for a person convicted of murder. That's really not changed much over the last decade. It's down some from the all-time high of 80% who favored the death penalty. That was back in 1994. And, of course, it's way up from the all-time low of 42% who favored it back in the 1960s. But still, it surprises some people when we talk about this that we have almost two-thirds of Americans who, in this day and age, still favor the use of the death penalty. A couple of points here. Uh, some critics of the death penalty say that it is not applied fairly. We ask Americans, is it applied fairly? That is the death penalty? A majority, 58% of Americans say it is. We also ask Americans an interesting question, is the death penalty applied too often about right or not applied often enough? What do we find here? Only 18% of all Americans tell us that the death penalty is applied too often. Instead, about half of Americans, that is 49%, say they think the death penalty in the U.S. is not applied often enough. Bottom line out of this, even in this year 2010, with all the critics of the death penalty and the DNA evidence which shows that some people convicted of murder on death row in fact are innocent, we still find about two-thirds of the American public supporting the use of the death penalty in cases of murder. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Gallup's Editor-in-Chief.